Okay, so the niche is, uh, is hypnotherapy for irritable bowel syndrome. And is this online? Is this local? Um, both. both. More online. Okay, so we'll focus online. Okay. For this. And, okay, so now, with the point of view piece that I believe exercise, did you do that one at all? Yes. You did? Okay, yeah. that's the one you did. So, can you give me some of the, what, what are the most important bits of your point of view? Um, I believe these people are unhappy. I believe they don't want this to be a problem anymore. Mm -hmm. I believe it's embarrassing for them. Mm -hmm. um, it's often kept quiet within families, not talked about. Mm -hmm. um, I believe we can relearn to trust our body. Okay, hold on. Pause there. Okay, so it's kept quiet. You believe we can trust our bodies again? Yeah. Okay. It will increase self-esteem. Um, neural pathways can be corrected. Okay. Neural pathways can be corrected. Yeah. Um, educate. I, I believe education is needed. I believe hormones can affect it. Um, I believe it holds people back in life. Mm -hmm. I believe symptoms will improve. I believe relaxation helps. Uh, <coughs> I believe more information is needed. I believe it's recommended by NICE guidelines, which it is. Recommended by what? NICE is like the, that's what the NHS use for. Um, National Institute for Clinical Health. Okay. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me ask you, why do you think, what causes IBS? What's your belief about it? Uh, stress. Stress. Okay. Okay. And what do you believe is the best way to deal with stress? Relaxation. Well, okay. So, okay. So if you just tell people, go, yeah, go relax. <laughs> <laughs> IBS cured. That's well, this is where I think that teaches you how to relax. So why can't people relax? What's what's in the way? Why not? It's just yeah, just relax, chill out. You're welcome. Like the baggage that they're carrying around with them. Okay. So the baggage causes the stress? Yeah. Okay. And um, what kind of baggage are we talking? Well, decades of probably of mm -hmm. family stress or relationship stress or um, work mm -hmm. pressure and right. all so, day life. Yeah, sure. Right. Okay. Right. So it's particularly, this is, so this is unresolved stress. So this isn't just the stress of what they're dealing with now. It's a kind of backlog of stress. Yeah. yeah. How is it, how could stress possibly cause IBS? You've got an emotional thing that's a physical symptom. It's clearly physical. How could it possibly connect? Because they lose the connection between the mind and the gut because the stress comes in in clouds, everything that's kind of going on in the mind. And then they, people forget to trust in their bodies. I, I still don't get how that connects to the gut. Okay. Can you break it down physiologically for me? How does stress cause IBS? How does stress cause IBS? Vagus nerve. Yeah, the vagus nerve. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And the yeah, the connections between because obviously the brain is the computer of that entire body, and this is just a natural body system. Right? Mm -hmm. um, and so, but then people start to fear that part of the system, and the vagus nerve is impacted by the stress. Yeah. They start to fear which part of the system? The digestive system, um, and then the nervous system starts to feel as though it's under attack because of the stress that they're carrying, and so that also impacts it. We release more cortisol, we release more adrenaline, um, and then that loses the connection there as well. Um, I don't get how losing a connection would cause IBS. The mind and the body. Yeah. Um, you're trying to get me to realize this, mm -hmm. aren't you? <laughs> But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to vocalize what the average person on the street would be asking. Mm -hmm. It's not that I don't have thoughts and ideas on this. Yeah. It's that for the average person on the street, this is what we're going for with point of view. Yeah. Is so island A, right? Is island A is they've got they're sad. Yeah. They've got IBS and island B. Oops. Uh, they're happy. Because either, yeah, no IBS, you know, yeah. to put it simply. <laughs> yeah. And so she's saying, I can get you from one island to the other. I can help with that. And I'm saying, how? 
I'm saying, prove it to me. I work hard for this money. I've had a lot of people make claims, make the case for me. I don't want to spend money to, with you unless this makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so in a in an intro workshop, if you were to do a signature workshop, it's not. Let me make the case to hire me as a hypnotherapist to help you with your IBS. It's first making the case that there's a kind of logical chain if you can imagine. First, IBS is caused by stress significantly. You know, maybe others, maybe, or, but you might also say, for example, you might say, well, there's a. Um, kind of a Venn diagram, right? You might say, well, IBS, first of all, stress, most important. But then we've also got uh, diet, and maybe we've got lifestyle, for example, yeah? yeah? And you might say, look, all these are important. In terms of dietary stuff, here's some books I'd recommend, or some general things that will help. Lifestyle, here's the most important things. But the thing I focus on is this. Yeah. Yeah, so this takes five minutes in the workshop, this is five minutes, and that's 40 minutes in the workshop. But So first of all, the first case that needs to be made, one, is stress leads to IBS. The second is, um, but it, within this, I want to hear how, like, I want to see a chart of the body. Yeah. I want to see, here yeah. are the body systems, I want to see, here's the cascading effect. Because it's one thing to say, but then it's like, well, yeah, everybody says that, but uh, it seems maybe overdone. It can't really be stress. That's just, you know, you're a little uptight. But if I can see somebody say, well, here's what stress does. It constricts the body and it kicks in these hormones. These hormones do this. These hormones shut down these systems in the body. Like this is mechanically how it leads to IBS. Yeah. If she could make the case for me, yeah. I'm sitting there with IBS and I've been working on maybe these things. I haven't really looked at the stress. I've been sort of putting that off. And then number two, it could be, yes, yeah, stress, uh, right, is actually caused by this backlog, right, of unresolved emotional stuff. Mm -hmm. That's where the stress comes from. It's like you're trying to work on the stress just maybe in your lifestyle, right? You're trying to work on it right now, but I'm saying there's a bunch of stuff. And then the third case might have something to do with the unconscious. You know, the, the, if you're going to be trying to deal with stress, you can try to deal with it consciously, like, you know, I'm going to have a cold shower, I'm going to do that, but there's also deeper things. <laughs> and then it's like number four is hypnotherapy. But even this is not hire me. This is just saying, look, you're yeah. going to need to access the unconscious, and hypnotherapy is a beautiful way to do that. And there's other people that do hypnotherapy. You know, I just, I'm one. And if you know, if you like me, if you like what I had to say, you want my help. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but this to me is the the first one. That that's how what I'm hearing. If I'm sitting there listening, I just want I want you to prove to me. I want to have that case really well made. Um, and part of the ways you can also make the case and stories and examples can be shared. Here's somebody who yes. came. You know, we reduced their stress. Here's what happened. Because a primitive response to stress that you shut down the rest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you? I, I do know all the songs. <laughs> do you? Do you have? I understand. Do you have a, a, a? How do you feel about your business model? Great. You do. Yeah. Do you have a signature workshop? You do. No, no. I no, do. Okay. At the start of each year, I do like a set your intention session, which is free. Okay. But that's when I've not been specific. So maybe as I get more niche and specific. Yeah. So I would say a signature workshop on this. Would that be free though? Or would that be free? Uh, you, it, Probably. If it's an hour long online, I would probably do it for free um, because it's just the best way to get clients. You get the host to, uh, to bring you in, do it for their people. But you could also do it uh, for your, your own um, folks. You know, you could promote it to your own list. Yeah. You could do it a couple times a year. But a, a workshop where, again, we're making the case for the point of view, not for the hire me. But so if, if you don't have that, I would add that into your business model. Mm -hmm. Now for hubs, here's what we're going to do, is I'm going to pass out these cards. So uh, take one down, pass it around. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to brainstorm hubs. And where could... Uh, Thank you, Sharon. That's right, correct. 
Uh, where did uh, where can Sharon find um, potential clients for IBS? But now we need to know a bit more. We know about the issue, but there's probably more that will help us think about people. So can you read over uh, out loud? What did you get in your exercise around the ideal client? Is that the one that we went through? The first exercise the whole room went through together. Uh, yeah, so, okay, so someone that's worried to leave the house because they don't trust their body. Yeah. Um, and the result would be that they, it becomes relevant and they are anxious. Yeah. Generally female. Okay. But not necessarily, it doesn't have to be. Worried, nervous, frustrated. Um, and the, the most, does that come yeah, sure, the, uh, Let's go into the psychographics, for, that's most important for Okay. Um, the psychographics, I've put anxious, but... That's, 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 uh, not, that's not a psychographic. I don't know, because what my clients are having is so widespread, so I don't know how to... It's not like they're all vegan or something. Yeah. Is there, is there anything that came up? It's okay if not, but is there anything? Nothing on the psychographic level? Yeah. So one thing to think about with the psychographic level is also who do you most want to work with? Mm -hmm. Who's the bullseye, right? You can have all sorts of clients, but who's your ideal? That's who you focus on. Put all the effort on that. Um, you can get somebody who's out here or out here, it's fine. But focus on the one. So this is something that psychographically, it's like, okay, the mistake we make is we say, well, who do I already work with? And what, what communities are they a part of? But that may be very widespread. Sometimes you got to step back and think, who do I want? Mm -hmm. Maybe out of everyone I've had, who are the people I resonate with most? Is there something they all share in psychographics? Not just all of them. Because if you try to average it out, it's a bad move. But if instead you say, okay, out of all my people, who are my favorite people? And is there something they share? Are they part of similar scenes? Do they have a similar worldview? Great question to ask her if I went to their house, what books might they have? Like what authors might they read that if, I, that if you read them, we're gonna get along great. We're, if we're already on the same page here, we're gonna get along. What things might you find in their home? You know, if I saw Sally Fallon's book, Nourishing Traditions, oh, you have a dehydrator, you have a, a, a Vitamix, you have whatever. You have a rebounder, perfect, we're gonna get along great. There might be crystals, sage, you know, bundles or whatever that is for you. Is there anything that comes up for you that... Yeah, so maybe they are um, like grandmothers, but not that old. Uh, <laughs> 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 they're tall, but they're not like that. <laughs> they like cooking at home. Great, okay. Yeah, they... Oh, very I caring, but, you know, very caring for the family. I suppose that's what I mean, but maybe yeah. then they're battling this inside. Right, caring for family. Are they, so are they kind of, I don't know if it's not like homesteading stuff, but they're kind of into uh, uh, tending the home, like they're really into yeah. that lifestyle. Yeah. 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 And um, politically, do they have any kind of affiliation? Is there, is there a particular thing you lean towards? Ooh. Right wing, left wing? Mm. Are they conservative or are they liberal? Yeah, probably conservative. Yeah, yeah. great. The, um... <laughs> what did you say? That's why it's not hard to ideas. Oh, I... <laughs> There's plenty of uptightness on the left. Let's, <laughs> let's be real about that. The stress is not just the domain of the, of the conservatives. Yeah, but that's great. Okay. So, you, but you, are you starting to get a better picture? Mm -hmm. Just immediately. I'm starting to say, oh, I get a different sense than just people with people with IBS. Okay, women who are maybe yeah a little more on the conservative side. They're the grandmotherly type. They're they like uh, yeah tending the home, caring for the family. They love mm -hmm. cooking at home. I'm already getting a sense. Is there anything else that comes up? This is wonderful. It's great. Um, how 
would you use that then? Is that what, how you, you don't worry about okay, that. Okay, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Um, is there anything else that comes up? They spend money, so they have nice shoes. Okay. <laughs> 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 grandmothers with nice shoes. Right? <laughs> grandmothers, but not grandmothers. The shoes, but not, and not. You wouldn't call them shoes, exactly. No, that's good. Um, yeah, but is a um, okay. Are there any clarifying questions? Not advice, not ideas, just something that might help her get clearer. Uh, Sharon. Those women don't come like they should be stressed. I know the concern. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I know, but like, what are, makes them stressed? Those. Well, let's okay. Let's focus Sorry. on psychographics. Yeah. So Sorry. what? Um, I'm just trying to think. Are there any other questions? Is there any confusion you have of you're trying to peg this, but you yeah. can't quite? Yeah. It's what work did they do? Like. Oh, is it maybe? Okay. So is actually, it? interesting that they don't really work. Okay. So it's a bit difficult. So the, about it. Okay. Yeah. They don't work outside of home. Yeah. So, so they've been stay at home. Yeah. Have they been like this for a long time? Mm. Or have the symptoms pushed them into the home? Mm. Mm. No, it's been increasing, increasing, increasing. Mm. To, to, until it gets to the point of, I can't go somewhere if I don't know there's a toilet nearby. Yeah. Yeah. So it makes life smaller and smaller. Mm. So do, it, do they, is it that they feel trapped at home or do they feel fulfilled at home? They feel safe at home. Is it because of the IBS or is it like the, you know, because there's some, there's a great book called uh, The Radical Homemaker and it's all about women who are very politically radical but want to stay at home. Mm -hmm. They want to do the, you know, the, be in the kitchen with the kids. They want to, they don't want to have a career in the corporate world, but they're also politically left-wing radical. I think they've been, I think, no, I don't think they're radical, to be honest. I yeah. think they've always just been at home and then they have that empty nest syndrome and that brings on stress itself. Mm -hmm. They do have that lack of fulfillment. Mm -hmm. you, said, you said, Sharon, you said they've got rich husbands and they're like their husbands. Mm -hmm. they do empty nest. Maybe, okay, this is good. Not empty nest. Not empty nest? No. Yeah, empty nest. Yeah, empty yeah, nest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, empty nest. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. It sounds like a solar plexus because the wind power is not... Okay, there's a diagnosis. Yeah. We don't want to... <laughs> okay, so um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we could we could articulate here. Um, I think maybe your clients, about this is the... Interests, dancing... Interests and hobbies, talking. Yeah, are there... Caring for family, is it? I think I've got quite a clear idea. It's, uh, there, there's, there's, there are some big fuzzy bits for me, but let's just go with this. And on your index card, you're going to print neatly, of course. I'm going to give you two minutes. Just get as many hubs as you can, as many ideas. Yeah, where can Sharon find these types of women? So you could think about hubs for IBS, like people with IBS, where would they go? Now, are these people holistically minded? Are these women holistically minded? They're open-minded. They're open-minded, okay, okay. So not particularly holistic. They're not going down to the New Age Fair or... Buying crystals or nag champa or something. They like waitrose, basically. They like waitrose. Not, not <laughs> uniforms and whole foods. They buy good housekeeping. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. So this is good. So two minutes. Just so it could be. Where do I find people with IBS? That's one set of hubs. But the other set of hubs is the this kind of stuff. Just based on what we know, roughly, and there really is. There's a lot more work we could do to hone this. But just based on this, where might uh, we'd be able to find them. Yeah. What are the potential uh, events these women might go to? Media they might follow? And what's going to happen, Sharon, is you're going to be getting all these hubs, you're going to read through them, most of them are, are going to be absolutely not it. You're going to read it and say, that's not it. Use that, though, to hone this. Okay. Right? Because it's like, that's no. But wait, I said something that gave that impression that that would be a good hub. What did I say? That, oh, okay. So when I'm communicating who I'm trying to reach, what I need to do is clarify this so I would not get that kind of hub in the future. Okay. 
So this is feedback because what you're going to start to get is a bunch of people, what they heard, translating that into hubs. So the hubs are the indication of how it landed. So you'll look at it and say, oh, that's completely not the kind of woman I want to work with. Well, then who is the kind of woman I want to work with? What could I say that would have eliminated that as a hub? And, you know, and then if you see one that's a perfect one, oh, yeah, right. What does that tell me? That's exactly who. What kind of women, you know, and I know we just focus on women because there's a lot. And I know it's not just yeah. that, but yeah. for this exercise. Yeah, whenever you, you get hubs brainstormed for you like this, most of them will be wrong. That's perfect. Because the next time if you were to do this exercise, you'd be so much clearer and you'd get much better hubs. So it's a, it's a way to refine and clarify. Okay, just 30 more seconds. Okay. And now I'm going to invite everybody circle one of them on your list that you think that this is the one. If I had to just pick one, this is the most likely to get clients that are a good fit. And, uh, and then if you feel like one, you've got one that's like, this is really, really good, and you're just burning to share it, raise your hand, and we'll just get a few up here. Yes. I like women's book clubs. Great. Yeah, women's book clubs. I've got similar to that local library. Okay, great. A local library. Healthy women's shops. Well, 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 well done. By hand. Where you go? What you just said. Oh, sorry. Hold on, hold on. I've actually got public libraries. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fed up with them okay. not going to the restaurant, so I think it was marketing with the husbands in the pub. Well, this is something. Sometimes you can market to the, the partner. Yeah. yeah, there's that. Okay, yeah, what else? Someone, shops. one that you're really burning about. Raise your hand if you got one. Yes. Health food shops. How's what? Health food. Health food, Health food shops. shops. Right, okay, yes. Because um, it might be that these um, women are starting to look at, you know, some holistic treatments. So sometimes, yeah, you go into these shops, you get known by the staff. Mm -hmm. And then when people come in looking for supplements and treat, you know, things for IBS, oh, do you have IBS? Oh, you know, there's somebody locally who does it. We're, we're thinking about online, but um, that's a great example. Yes. Um, like people who are kind of like home cooking coaches. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is a great example of... Um, there's all sorts of courses online around how to cook at home, how to prepare at home, how to, you know, do batch cooking, how to, you know, that those kinds of women might be into. And if you could go to them and say, look, I help people with IBS, a number of your clients might have it. Would you be interested to bring me in to speak to them? And you can talk about the nutritional side and this, but I'm going to talk about the stress side. Mm -hmm. Like this? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mentioned the Women's Institute, which I think two other people have also thought of. Yeah. Because you can offer talks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can get on there, so okay. Great. Well, is this last but not least? Um, connecting with social prescribers at so doctor's surgeries, especially with it being mm -hmm. nice, recommended. Yeah. And I think it's such a massive issue, isn't it, for so many people? Yeah. And they don't really have great solutions a lot of the time. Yeah. Okay, so connecting with social prescribers. So we'll end there. Yeah? But you get the sense of how this works, right? <laughs> um, so continue this. Whichever exercises you didn't do, do them after the workshop. Uh, feel free to yeah, stay in touch with each other, but reach out to your friends, your colleagues, get together, continue this. As this gets clearer, everything gets easier. Yeah, make sense? Okay.